In this trading view tutorial, we're going to talk about volume footprint charts. I've already had videos in the past showing them on Ninja Trader. Now we're going to go into trading view. Now, in order to access this candle type, now normally you probably have candles on your chart like this. Just go right up here to the icon right up here, then scroll on down to where it says volume footprint. Once you click on that, now you'll see they start to populate and let's go over some of the settings first. So I'm going to right click on the screen, go right here to where it says settings. Now when we come over here. There's a couple of things that we want to look at. All right, right here. We can see candle body. If I uncheck it, you can see the candle bodies are essentially hollow. If I have it checked, the green will be for the up candle. The red will be for the down candle. We can change those colors by simply clicking on the color, the co colored square, then selecting the color. We look at borders. We click that on, we click it off. We click it on, we click it off, and we can see there is a slight border around it, a little bit harder to see. Now, wicks, you can see with the wicks unchecked, we no longer have wicks on the candle. Now, when we look at the footprint charts, keep in mind on the left hand side, these are going to be essentially the orders fired off on the bid. On the right hand side, these are the orders firing off on the ask. Now, right over here, we have what's called row size. Now, we can make it where it's manual and we can put in however many rows, how many price levels we want per row. However, I think it's probably best just leave it at auto. Now I have the ATR right now selected to six. And then on the type, there's a couple different types. All right, we can use the buy sell, which is the most common way I like to use the footprint chart, but we can also put it on Delta. Now, when we look at Delta, this is gonna show us, you know, was there more buying or selling at each individual level? A negative number would indicate more selling at that price point. A positive number would indicate more buyers on that price point. We can also go over here to where it says total, and that's gonna add up the total volume at each individual price point. However, I'm gonna leave it back over here on buy and sell. There's a lot of information we can, we can gain off of this. Now, for the background applied, I do have gradient applied. We can see that the brighter the green, the heavier the volume is on the buy side, and then the brighter the red is, the heavier the volume was to the sell side. Then that's gonna bring us down to the next point right here where it says value area. Now I do like to have the value area selected. Out of the box, it comes at 70. I like to have mine at 68, the same as my volume profile charts. Now next, you guys probably hear me talk about point of control quite a, quite a bit in my analysis videos when we're talking about volume profile. Well, point of control can also be applied over to the footprint charts. Now I have mine colored as yellow to match the volume profiles that I use. And so that, that is telling me that this level, these two levels right here is the highest volume within this candle. Now I do have the candle set to five minutes. You can have it set to one minute, a tick, a range, whatever, whatever you want to use, this will still be applicable to you. Now, right down here where it says show info, show info is exactly that. We can see right down below us, it'll show us the delta of the candle. It'll also show us the total volume. Then as we go ahead and we scroll down, we have what's called imbalances. Now, I do like imbalances. I'll show you guys an example of that here in just a moment. But I have that balances set at that 300. If you watch my Ninja Trader tutorial video on footprint and charts, you probably probably see where I had it set three to one. That's going to be exactly the same as 300%. Now you want it to go ahead and be highlighted. Now notice when I uncheck that right here, where we see blue on the right hand side, that's telling me we have imbalances. And what that's going on to say is, in this case, 2.33 is three times greater than 473. So you wanna look at this as diagonal. So you start from the left and diagonally up to the right is how this is being compared in terms of a buy, uh, imbalance to the buy side, to the sell side. You start over here on the right-hand column and go diagonally to the left and that would give you your sell imbalances. Like for instance, right down here, we have a sell imbalance where we have 1.54K contracts traded and you look at that, it's against zero contracts. So yes, it's at least 300% more than zero contracts. And that's why we see this in red right over here. Now there's something else we can have right here as well, where it says stacked levels. Now I have this set at three and I don't just have this set at three because that's what TradingView has out of the box. Historically, when trading with footprint charts, that is at the same value I have always used. Now, when we actually look at this, I'm gonna move this over here just a bit. I want you to pay attention to this shaded area right over here. If I go ahead and I uncheck stacked areas, you'll notice these imbalances then go away. The highlighted areas go away. If I go ahead and check it, then we're going to see if we have three or more imbalances, it's going to go ahead and shade them in. Now let's talk about why that could be important. One, 
we can use it as a resistance level. So if you're looking to sell here, let's say you've seen this down came, you're like, oh, I got to get short. You go to short. Well, guess what? You can have your stop right on the other side of those imbalances, knowing that that should hold price. Also, when you start pushing too far away from the imbalances, that can also provide a target location in the future as well. Now, when we come over and look at this, one of the key factors I really like to look at when I'm looking at the footprint charts, and that is gonna be the delta. Now, if you look right here, for instance, we had a delta of negative 887, then it jumped up to negative 17.72, which is a greater negative del delta. I feel, I feel funny even saying that, but the delta is greater to the downside than it was on this candle here. Then we look right here, 50,000 is greater than the delta of the previous candle. So in that instance, that could be a case where I actually look to take a sell trade. Then we have multiple places where we can place a stop. One could be above the imbalance. Two, it could be right above the POC. Or three, it could be above the entire candle. Now, if you want to learn more about the Delta strategy that I'm talking about right here, make sure to watch this video right here.